I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my WhatsApp group, Free Math Solutions. We are having great activities there. Questions are flowing in and solutions are also being provided by many of our participants. Here is a question which is based on trigonometry, 3D application. So we had a couple of solutions. I want to discuss them in this particular video. Now, one of the solution is very simple, beautiful solution. Unfortunately, it is not being appreciated or not being understood. And that is why I've taken up this question here in this particular video. And I hope I'll be able to explain it. Okay, so the question here is, Suman has let out 80 meters string and the kite is at an angle of elevation of 42 degrees. Wind is towards north. Her friend Tom stands to the west 100 meter away. Sketch a diagram to represent the situation. Find the distance of the kite from Tom. Find the kite's angle of elevation from Tom. So let's begin with sketching the diagram itself. Sometimes that itself could be challenging, right? So 3D figures being drawn on a 2D plane is, is really challenging. So let's say this is your x-axis and x-axis is going to show east for us. For north, we go kind of an inclination, kind of like this, and this gives you the xy plane and that is north for us, correct? So that is how we should get east and north. Now, the kite is flying, making an angle of elevation of 42 degrees. We'll put it right there at the origin. And so, let's say this is, uh, this is 42 degrees right at the origin here. And uh, let me just draw this. Okay. So that gives you the angle, which is 42 degrees. Clear? And as you can very clearly see, the two planes are perpendicular. So this is 90 degrees, right? That's the vertical plane. Think about a wall in front of you and you're looking at it, something right there on the top, correct? Now, let's look into, now this is the position of Suman. Let's label. So we'll call this point as O. This is S for Suman and K for the kite. And we also know that the distance is 80. So this is, I'm writing here, 80 for the length of the string. Okay. Now, let me use another ink to show what Tom is. Tom is 100 meters to the west. So, so we'll go 100 meters to the west and connect that to the kite. Okay, so there you go. So we'll further move this 100 meters and that position is Tom. And this is 100 meters. So what we need to figure out now is what is this length, right? So what is T to K? Let's call this as X. So that is what we are interested in. We are also interested in finding what is the angle of elevation. So for that, let me connect the, in this plane the point O with T, right? So that is what I've connected. And so the angle which we are interested in finding is this particular angle. Let's call it alpha. So that is what we are interested in. Okay. So I hope the question is absolutely clear with this diagram. Let's figure out uh, the essential values. So the triangle KSO, we can begin from there. All the values are given there. So let's say a triangle, which is the right triangle. Uh, let's call it SOK. Okay. So the distance KO, which is also the height of the kite, uh, let's write H is equal to the sine value, right? Sine of the angle, which is 42, times whatever this distance is, which is 80. So we can calculate this. It's a good idea to write 80 first. Anyway, let's multiply by 80 sine of 42 to get our answer, which is equal to 53.5353. Okay, so it is 53.53. Now let's also calculate what S2O is. So the horizontal distance S2O is 80 times the cosine value, 
which is cos of 42 degrees and that is 80 times cos of 42 degrees and this is uh, 59.45 so which is 59.45 okay so we get this distance as 59.45 and we know this is 100 since we know these two we can use the pythagorean theorem as you can very clearly see that we have a right angle right there right so this is in fact a right angle east and this is east and this is going to south correct so east and south let me write like this will definitely make 90 degrees so to is hypotenuse so let's write down what to is let me do these calculations here so t2o is square root of uh, 100 square plus 59.45 square right so that is square root of 100 square plus 59.45 square and that gives us 116 Point three three, so let's say three four three three seven it is so that is to so we get this as 116.34 right now we know the height and we can easily find the angle alpha right clear so using tan so alpha basically will be tan inverse of height over this distance which is Height we found as 53.53. Clear? So it is 53.53 divided by 116.34. So we get shift tan inverse 53.53 divided by 116.34. So in degrees, this angle is 24.707. So let me write this as 24.707. Okay, you can write 7. Right. So we get that. And we can find x, the distance. We could use uh, the sine ratio to find x. Or we could use Pythagorean theorem. Anyway, because we have the angle now. Right. So either way, we could find this. But I think we'll use the uh, Pythagorean theorem itself and we'll say x is equal to what so x is equal to square root of uh, 53.5 square plus 116.34 square right so that gives you the the value so we have square root of 53.53 square plus 116.34 square and that is 128.6 so we get this as 128.06 correct well you could also calculate this using trigonometry because you know this angle is also 90 degrees correct that is why we use that theorem so this angle is also 90 degrees and here we have uh, sine ratio because we are looking into opposite in this. So we can also say x is equal to 53.53 divided by sine of angle alpha, which is 24.707. So let's do that. So we get 53.53 divided by sine of 24.707. And that gives us 128, let me write down again, 128.06, right? So again, we get the same answer, do you see? And that is why we have different solutions. So you could approach using a right triangle, since it is a right triangle, correct? As you can see here, or you could do trigonometry using the sine ratio opposite side and hypotenuse well that is a couple of approaches and now let's look into another very good solution and that is uh, uh, let me discuss on a fresh page to get that solution we can actually discuss here also
but uh, I'll redraw this and then we'll discuss the second solution, right? So I hope you you're finding it interesting. Okay, so this is your east-west and that is your north-south and what we have here is a kite which is right there and uh, 42 degrees that is the angle and then we have uh, Tom which is uh, standing away 100 meters and so from there we have to get the the angle and uh, oops so we let's redraw okay so okay there you go so we have this uh, so again i'm writing this tom s o and that is the kite we are given this as uh, 42 degrees that is 80 and uh, as you can see this is on the the plane which is ground right so this is ground okay and clearly we have a right angle there correct we found what ko is so ko was uh, 80 sine of 42 correct that is what ko was we now the interesting thing here to discuss is how do we easily get uh, the and we also know what is this this is 100 meters now what is important to understand is that's the beauty that this is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees since the planes these planes are perpendicular planes so this is 90 degrees angle and since this is a 90 degree angle I can calculate what TK is so for me TK is square root of 80 square plus 100 square that is what it is and let's calculate this value and so what we get here is 80 square plus 100 square and square root of this answer is equal to 20 square root 41 let me write down here 20 square root 41 and what is the decimal value decimal value is 128.06 do you see this part so without many calculations we got this value which is same as 128.06 do you see that part so now I hope you understand that in fact this angle is a 90 degree angle since it is a 90 degree angle directly you could apply a Pythagorean theorem see how simple it becomes and that's the beauty so you get this side as 128.06 in a very simple step and now what do you need you need to find this angle alpha you know the height here correct and then you know this hypotenuse you can find alpha right so let's calculate and that's what we did earlier also so 80 sine 42 so that was 53 53 right and uh, we know sine of theta is this so theta equals to sine inverse of uh, you know, theta is 53 53 divided by 128.06 and that's what we got earlier also correct so we do sh shift of sine inverse and we get 53.53 uh, .53 divided by 128.06 and what do we get 24.7 so we get this as 24.7 do you see that part now compare you get the same angle 24.7 correct same angle and see the beauty of solution simple steps perfect so i will say this is a brilliant solution which you should not doubt about it is definitely a correct solution correct 
And that is how you have to look at it if you want to answer this question within no time. Important thing here is that KS and T is a right triangle. They are in planes which are perpendicular. That is why it is so perfect. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and uh, let me thank Sanjeev for a beautiful solution. Minimum steps to get this kind of a question. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Sanjeev, for your engineering approach to this. We really appreciate it. Thank you.